All right, guys. Today we're gonna be going over on how to drop in on a quarter pipe. If you've never done it before, I got a special surprise. We got professional <laughs> BMX rider, professional <laughs> BMX rider Bryce <laughs> Tryon. What's up, guys? All right, so today I'm gonna teach you guys how to drop in. If you guys have never dropped in before, hopefully we can get you guys on the right track to learn how to drop in with these tips. So when wanting to learn how to drop in, you gotta figure out the way that you drop in. So most of the time, unless you're really goofy, uh, the way that you spin is the way that you drop in. So I spin to the right, for instance, and I drop in with my right shoulder facing the way of the ramp. So I drop in like this. To find a quarter that is a little bit out of your comfort zone, but still able to actually roll down without hitting your sprocket, probably best for you know people who are you know just getting into BMX uh, is to find something like that so you don't actually clip and you don't have to worry about bunny hopping in you can just go ahead and just roll down obviously the most basic way and the least scariest way is to do what I just did and that's roll straight in uh, preferably in BMX you don't want to do that too often because it has you have a more likely chance to actually go over the bars uh, so you mostly will see the bigger pro guys drop in at an angle. Trust me guys, I know that's a little bit scarier, but get in the habit of doing it early on because it will help you so much with your confidence later on in dropping in on bigger quarters. All right guys, so there's four major things you wanna look out for when you are attempting to drop in. First things first, you wanna make sure to have your pedals level. You do not wanna drop in with your pedals like this, uneven, because you will, in fact, hit so you want to make sure to keep them level and straight so you don't hit anything you just go straight in uh, the second thing is you want to make sure to have a decent amount of speed when you roll in not a crazy amount of speed just enough to you know get settled in and just roll in so you don't actually just topple over uh, the two last ones first one is you want to make sure to have your knees bent you don't want to be just stiff arm or stiff legged and just like this you want to make sure to have you know comfortable riding position knees a little bent so you don't actually go over the bars. The last one is to make sure to lean back a little bit. You don't want to, you know, do a manual or a wheelie or something like that. You want to make sure just to lean back a little bit so you don't just go over the bars. And that goes hand in hand with bending your knees a little bit. So once you're comfortable with rolling in, you can go ahead and start kind of lifting your front wheel over the edge and rolling in and even get into hopping in. All right, so once you guys get comfortable on a medium-sized quarter, you can go ahead and move it up to a bigger quarter or a quarter with coping. Another tip that helps with uh, coming to drop in on a little bit bigger things or even on the smaller things is to do it like the one foot method. So you have one foot on the deck and you just kind of hang your front wheel over like this and then you just push off. When it comes to dropping in on a big air quarter and also with coping, you're gonna wanna be dropping in at an angle, like I mentioned earlier, because most skate parks, just like here, you're not gonna be able to do, you're not gonna have enough room to go straight in, and also you're gonna hit that sprocket, and that's gonna obviously result you in falling, which is a no-no. And uh, so, like I said, you wanna get a little bit, you wanna get like kinda parallel with the coping, get a little bit back, and once you go to drop in, just lift that front wheel up over that coping and roll in. The biggest tip I can give you guys on this is to make sure to lift your front wheel up over that coping for sure. Because you do not want to just try to roll in right here. Because look, if the wheel get caught, your bike will go that way and you will go that way. And you do not want that to happen. So you just want to make sure to lift up over that coping all the time. Because trust me, me and Felipe have done it. I think Pat's done it. it all right. <laughs> it sucks. It sucks real bad, so don't do that. Okay, so once you guys are comfortable with doing medium quarters and a little bit bigger quarters, then you can just start dropping in on anything. Like this big quarter right here is about a nine foot quarter. And uh, so yeah, and then you can just impress your friends on dropping in on huge quarters and stuff, man. All right guys, so once you get comfortable on bigger stuff like this, you can literally drop into whatever you want. And yeah, your world, the world is your oyster pretty much. Oyster. What a guy. What a weird What a word. good guy. <laughs> All right, so I hope Bryce's words of, of wisdom and his experience from riding all these years has rubbed off on you a little bit. Um, Bryce is going to do some cool drop-in tricks for you guys. <laughs> He's been dumb behind the camera. But, yeah, drop a like on this video. 
Also, if you want to ask any more questions, like say maybe something was left out, you feel like there was something that you wanted to know, but it wasn't talked about in this video, uh, DM Bryce on Instagram. It'll be T R Y O N B M X. <laughs> I had to think about it. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be on the screen because I, I probably said it super slow, but it's on the screen. It's floating around somewhere. It's probably doing a little 360 or something on the screen. But yeah, go DM him. Go follow him if you want to, too. He's really sick. He posts bangers today. We were just getting some clips done for his Instagram, and he did some crazy bangers. You should go check it out. Thanks. Um, but yeah, he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna show us. They show us what he's learned over the past years of writing. <laughs> you know what's funny? I've never done this before. <laughs> really? It's pretty big. Yeah. Let me get back a little bit. Yeah, I just want to show how big this is. Alright, yeah. You're... That was a lot scarier than I expected. <laughs> that was cool. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Before we close this out, Bryce is going to try something cool for you guys. Can you film it, Pat? So what are you gonna try for us today? I I was thinking about C bounce 360 from the the box or the spine to the box. I really have no idea how it's gonna go. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get it around or not. Let's find out. Oh! Oh! Mm. Whoa! He did it! <laughs> it worked. He did it! I I, I fell sideways. He did it! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna wrap up this little video now. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to drop a like down below. Like I said earlier in the video, if you have any more questions, DM Bryce on Instagram. I'm sure he'll be happy to reply to you. Actually, he will be because I'm gonna make sure he does. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more how to's, comment down below what you'd like to see in the future. I'm gonna close it out now. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Later. Filming a how to Quality drop down, in right. on a quarter pipe with none other than professional. Oh, you want to restart this because we're talking that you want to, you know, drop in and hopefully get you guys. Oh, uh, you, you want to do it? You suck. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> yeah, just drop it on the resi. Oh, shit. Okay. I will. For the video. I'm pretty good. It's just no. more of that, like, I since I don't have an uh, know of an uh, idea. F you, Pat. I'm gonna do this real quick. Nah. You guys ready? Yeah. <laughs> I got zero because I don't got a thousand. Shows. Eat sore. Like I on the quarter and then I just looked back and the, she was going ham on some dookie. Yeah. Next one. Later. Uh, that's how you outro a video with. You ready? You want to set a pressure cam with your bare hands? You just. Fuck it. You're not stuck strong. to my hand. You're still a weak little boy. Yeah, and you're a weak-minded individual. Shut up. Damn. <laughs> trying to come for you. Sorry, yeah. babe, but she, he got you there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, that's the end of the video. There's no more, except for this part, because I got to tell you something. So, um, I've decided to make an uploading schedule with how-tos and vlogs. So what I'm thinking is... Every Monday I post a how-to and every Wednesday I post like a long vlog. Like how I've been doing kind of like the whole weekend I put it all into one video and then Mondays I'll put a how-to out. If I can think this through I can maybe fit a game of bike or some sort of like game, game of add-on, game of bike, game of foot down, I don't know. Whatever you want to see on like, Tuesday I might just post like a random video. I'm trying to just post Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday now because I feel like I need a schedule. I've just kind of been, I've been uploading on Wednesdays but I want to upload more than just once a week. So what I'm thinking is, for sure right now, Monday, I had to, Tuesday, uh, a random video, and then Wednesday, a vlog. Also, I'm going to buy a brand new bike. Again, I know I do this pretty often, but I'm going to keep both my, I'm going to keep my other bike this time. So I'm going to have two bikes. I'm going to have a street setup and a park setup. Um, yeah, so that's, that's what we're doing now. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you've made it all the way to the very end, because this is pretty far and pretty deep in, comment the word pretzel 
and your Instagram underneath, and I'll go and follow you, I swear, on your thing. So this is for sure the end of the video now. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to go now. I'll see you guys next week.